Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I'm going to be doing another four video or four outfits that I was inspired to recreate using my own wardrobe from my Pinterest board. <laughs> y'all know the drill I love these videos you seem to really like them I found another four outfits on my Pinterest board and they're not always from this season some are from a long time ago that's the cool thing about Pinterest is you just don't know I mean you can look exactly when it was posted but you don't know when the picture was taken so on and so forth I love it I think it's fun so I picked up some that are pretty trendy so in each one of my outfits has kind of like a trend that's current um but yeah I'm excited to share them with you very colorful so yeah, you know the drill. I take my four photos, I show you what they look like, and I show you how I put them together, and we chat along the way. So let's start with look number one. Super cute. Her top is a little bit different than the one that I'm going to wear, but I love this sort of like big collar with denim shorts. Very un, I don't know, very like clash of like styles, whereas this really frilly girly top with denim shorts and clogs, but then the girly socks. I don't know, I love everything about this. I think it's cute. I have created and recreated an outfit from her in the past, and I don't think it turned out that great, but <laughs> we're gonna try with this one. So I don't have the exact, but you know, it's always inspiration, not replication. So let's see how I do with look number one. All right, so for look number one, we're going to start with the base, which is a little like fun color. I have, hers isn't necessarily Peter Pan, I don't think, cause mine's like high neck or hers is lower, whatever. Not the same, but we're gonna make do and some denim shorts and then you know the drill, we'll accessorize cause that is where the magic lies. So let's, let's put on some shorts. The last time I did an outfit, I think was inspired by her. Um, it didn't work out and y'all told me it was cause my jean, my jean shorts weren't like loose enough. So hopefully, they're a little bit looser this time, but hers are shorter, but I think I could like cuff mine, I don't know. I guess I just have thick thighs. I don't think I have thick thighs, but I don't know. I might not even cuff them, I might leave them long. Anyway, denim shorts on, let's pop on this little top. I like desperately badly need to like iron all of my button up shirts because I feel like I'm always just wearing the same ones because when I packed, I like stuffed everything into a suitcase and everything got wrinkled. So I'm like, just not wanting to iron everything. <laughs> everything. So it's been the lot, like the couple that I'm like constantly wearing that were the least wrinkly. Anyway, I think this top is really cute. It can give like berries and cream or whatever you call that, like style. Like really, really girly, but I think with the denim shorts, it can be kind of cute. Let's test that out though. Let's test it. I mean, she already tested it and it looks cute on her, but you know, sometimes it always doesn't always come to fruition. For, 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 Maybe I unbutton it a little bit instead of like that whole like super tucked. Ooh, I'm kind of feeling like that. Okay, she's got a brown belt on. On my little brown belt. I started my fall wish list. I have like four things on it right now, but I'm really getting excited. Even though I know that fall here is like summer. Okay, so she has like a girly little, girly little sock and some clogs. Which your girl has, so let's put on these frilly socks. I tried this like cocoon sauna pod thing today at my gym and I don't, I don't know why I thought I would like it. I mean, I know I should do it. It's good for me, but like I hate to sweat. I'm probably the only person in the world that hates to sweat. I don't know. I hate being uncomfortably hot. Anyway, um, yeah, it was just that uncomfortably hot. So it took me like, I felt like an hour to like cool off. <laughs> it wasn't that pleasant. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, these probably wouldn't be like my first pick of shoes and socks, but I think it turned out cute. Yeah, her pants are definitely more A-lined than mine are, but I don't know. She's got some sunnies on. 
I think you have to have like stick thin legs to pull off a look like this. If I do that too much, I'm like I'm flying away. I wouldn't really pair this with, she's like, I would probably pair this with sandals, not socks and clogs, but it is kind of cute and fun. It's giving two different, it's giving three different outfits. <laughs> it's giving business, it's giving summer fun, it's giving coffee run, bum. I don't know, anyway. We also talk about the fact that this color in my nails, would you consider this pink or red? Send off in the comments. It's called DND Red, but I consider it like a hot pink. I mean, I'm not mad at it, but anyway. Look at number one. Just all that. <laughs> How do we do? What do we think with look number one? Let's move on to look number two. It's cute. I don't know if I'd wear it. To be honest with you, I always want this to look cute, the bottom thing, but I feel like it like stumpifies my legs. I don't know. Let's try number two. Okay, look number two is for my girls who are in more of a cooler summer climate, okay? Because if I wore all this, I would die. Well, not really. It's just a little hot right now in Dallas. And by little, I mean like 103. So yeah, it's hot. I wouldn't wear this exact same outfit right now. Um, but it would still be like a cute fall transition slash if you lived, like if I lived in Illinois, I could still wear this because it's chilly in certain days. Um, but I think this is super fun, super colorful, would be a great spring outfit as well, as I'm saying as a summer outfit. But I love it. She's got these like wide kind of barrel white jeans, a striped button up, and a sweater over the shoulder. So let's see how I do with look number two. Okay, so for look number two, I'm going to put on my little A Goldy barrel jeans that I've been loving. Those I have been, those have been the only jeans that I've worn since being back in Texas because it's obviously super hot. Um, but they've been like my favorite. This is a super trendy outfit because we've got the mesh flats, we've got the barrel jeans, sweater over the shoulder, the whole nine. Um, and it's going to be really cute. So let's pop on our base layer of the Stark Strike button up and the jeans. And you know the drill. We will accessorize accessorize okay so we're currently like you know we just moved in like what a month ago not even a month tomorrow will be a month that we got here anyway that's not very important um i would say in the house we're pretty pretty settled but in the garage it's still a mess and we need to get parking in there because it's too hot for my little car to like get up to normal temp um anyway and so I feel like I, like we were just downstairs like looking to see if everything can like kind of fit um, because Arlo's gonna go with his granny this weekend and we're like maybe that's a project we can tackle because it's just so hot for him to like be out there plus he's got to be like entertained the whole time which it's just like earlier. Anyway, so we were talking about that and I was like debating if we really need a storage unit because I'm like I don't want to spend money on a storage unit if we don't really need it so we just need to get craftier with ideas but I was like looking at the stroller and I was like I don't even want, like, I do, I want a baby, but I also, like, don't, <laughs> you know, it's hard, um, and so I, like, looked at that stroller, and I was like, could that go? <laughs> no, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for it to be over. Countdown in my brain, or, like, be excited about the day when, like, Arlo would be out of a stroller, and, like, be able to walk and hold my hands, but, like, that's all good in theory, but, like, they don't walk fast enough. They don't want to walk for very long because <laughs> like we have a park like near our house but it's not like the nicest park but we have a nicer park like probably just under a mile from our house like 0.9 miles point yeah 0.9 miles um but he, he can't make it that far but honestly the thought of him sitting in a stroller he would like not be okay with either so hence why we don't go to that park <laughs> we would have to drive we used to go to the park when he was little and I could put him in a stroller. Oh my god, and I also had a, we had a message from daycare saying there's a case of hand, foot, and mouth going around. And I'm like, oh, we went through two cases of that. We lived here at that exact same daycare. And I'm just like, no. But I feel like, 
I didn't think he could get it more than once, but he got it twice, and now I'm like, you get it three times? Anyway, okay, base is on. Now let's throw on our little, I should get some different mesh flats, but these mesh flats will get the job done. I've worn these a surprisingly, like, surprisingly, a lot of times, no, I've surprised myself with how much I've worn these. Where hers? They're cute. Anyway, hers are like more of like the mesh, like no strap, but I think I like the strap on it. Anyway, so. I feel like these pants are slightly long, these pants. <laughs> Why do I say pants like that? Pants, these pants are slightly long. But they don't look cute cuffed. I love these pants. Anyway, um, let's put on this little yellow sweater. And this is where we're gonna like draw the line because this, it would be very hot to wear right now, but I think this is the exact same sweater she's wearing. I doubt it though, because she looks rich. I look, this is from Target, okay? <sighs> she looked wealthy. You know what a bad, big pet peeve of mine is? And I don't really have that many like fashion, I love the velvet. I don't have that many fashion pet peeves. But when people leave their hair tucked into their shirt, oh, it gives me the ick. It gives me the mad ick. Okay, I love this yellow with this blue. So freaking cute. Okay, she has like a fun sunny on. I don't have the exact ones, but I was thinking these ones. The blue, cute. Um, and she has a giant bag, but I'm kind of over the giant. Or not, she has a bigger straw bag. I'm kind of over the giant slash bigger bag, even though on my wish list is a, a suede coat. Um, but I want to go with just something simple, so. I think this turned out cute. My jeans are kind of wrinkly. They just came out of the dryer, so ignore that. But I love these. I think these are cute. Hers are more of like a drawstring, I think, and a little more cropped. But I think we get the job done with this look. It's so adorable. This is really cute. I love this outfit. Yes. What do we do? How do what do we think? I like my life more in this blue frame. I think it's my millennial brain still going to, you know when we first got Instagram and like everyone filtered the freak out of their photos just with like the generic ones? Where you like the sepia brown or where you like the cool tone? I'm a cool tone girl. Even when I'm like editing my videos, my um, thumbnails, I think it's because it looks cleaner and newer to me versus the the brown warm tone looks like old when someone clicks on one of my like old videos or like comments on one of my old videos like ugh, i hate the way you whatever and i'm just like dude that was the style back then okay you should know by the tint of the color of the video <laughs> anyway or just like the thumbnail designs like so much has changed you have to be able to know what is an old versus a new um instagram or YouTube video. Anyway, okay, let's move on to look number three. Okay, look number three is your quintessential trendy piece with the boxer shorts right now. I think these are very in, and then the little like, I don't know, graphic top style tee that's just cute with a colorful pair of sneakers and some socks. I think you cannot go wrong with this outfit. It's very cute, it's very trendy, it's very like, yeah, on trend for the summer trends this year. How many times can I say trend? Um, I like this. I think it's cute. I have a couple tops. I don't know exactly which one I'm going to select, but let's see how I do with look number three. Okay. Look number three, I don't know what top we're going to use. So we're going to play around. But first, I know for a fact, we're going to put on some striped little boxer shorts. And then we will play around with the top. I'm going to start with the top that I think I want to wear first. And then maybe we won't even need to try on a billion tops. Also, if you don't know the sweater hack, it's life changing. So you fold your sweater hot dog and then put the hanger hook in the armpit and fold it over. I feel like I've shared this a million times, but it's the only way to hang a sweater that doesn't like ruin your sweater. This is gonna be a look, the blue on the blue. Oh, I could never, I could never. I hate the way I just said that. Okay, I'm thinking, thinking I'm gonna go with my little 
tea. I don't want anything too cropped because I feel like, I don't know, I don't really like to see the lines of the boxers, but I guess that's the look. I think this could look cute. I feel like this is kind of the level of, like not too cropped, but like slightly cropped. I don't know, anything that doesn't go like down to here is cropped, in my opinion. I was either gonna potentially go with this, but I think this is gonna be too cropped for my like comfort right now, to be honest with you. Um, or more of like an oversized moment with this, which I thought would look cute, the blue and the yellow. Anyway, we're gonna keep on this little one. And then she has some socks and blue Adidas, which yeah, girl does too. So let's throw on some socks. Oy. I like literally normally, you guys know, I always talk about the fact that I like plan my outfits for the last one to be the comfiest one and the one I'm gonna wear for the day. But I can't do that for the last one because I've worn those red gingham shorts like twice this week. And I've worn these striped shorts once this week. I live in these things and I feel like when I go to pick up Arlo from daycare, they're gonna be like, ma'am, do you have other clothes? Oh, I don't think I told you this story either. So I go to pick up Arlo like his first week of school. And um, sorry, this is gonna be a lot of mom talk, but anyway, it's still funny nonetheless. I find it funny. So I go to pick him up and they're like, um, so Arlo has requested that you bring him something else for lunch because he doesn't eat bread and cheese in the form of grilled cheese. And I was like, yes, he, he has, but I know he doesn't like typical stuff. <laughs> but like, um, I was like, yeah, well, he's just bougie, but ignore him. And then he's like, what's for dinner? And I'm like, sea bass. No wonder. The kid loves like seafood, fish, fresh, stuff like that. Will not eat chicken nuggets. Will, but doesn't really like them. Cheeseburger, it's nothing like that. It's not a fan. So, <sighs> my bougie little kid. I love these boxer trends, but sometimes they just do nothing for you. Like, if you have any sort of like little mommy thing, or even if you don't, it's just like, the way your bodies are formed, your organs, they kind of can puff out. So anyway, I like to do like a slight something to show like your girl still has a weight. Anyway, I think this is cute though. I like, I like, I like. I would probably throw a sweater on just for the sake of it. Let's throw on this sweater. I probably wouldn't do yellow, but yellow is cute. Okay, I'm also not opposed to the whole sweater around the waist trend again. I know it's kind of like dorky, but it also gives shape, which I like. I don't know, you see how it like brings some attention? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm still a sweater over the shoulder kind of girl, but be prepared to see me switch it to my, wa <laughs> my waist this fall. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm not. I think I hated the waist trend of tying around the waist for so long because at Abercrombie, uh, we had to wear like flannels tied around our waist all the time. It was that 90s grungy kind of thing, early 2000s, I guess. But what do you think? I think it's cute. I like this sweater. I like the extra pop of color, the different like something. But to be honest with you, I always tie my, I like this. I'm not mad, but I think it needs a different color besides just like blue. She has other colors in her shirt, but oh, her hair is also up. Um, yeah. I like it. I don't know why I tied the sweater around the waist, but I think it works. And it's giving less stumpy legs, right? That might be in my imagination. Let's move on to look number four. And then the last look, look number four, is very comfy, very casual. If I'm being real, I've worn this outfit, uh, variations of this outfit, like eh, probably two days this week <laughs> already and it's Thursday. So yeah, I'm pretty much obsessed. It, well, it's Thursday and I haven't gotten dressed for the day. So, and yes, if you can see the clock, yes, it is that time. I've been doing other things. Anyway, um, and by getting dressed, I mean I've gotten dressed, just not the outfit I'm wearing for the day. <laughs> Anywho, um, I think this is really cute. I have pretty much the exact same pieces. So let's see how I do with look number four, which has been my summer uniform. Okay, for look number four, you know the drill. We're just swapping out these shorts for my gingham ones, the little red ones, which I took the like little tag thing off of it. 
I think I featured them in my last one. Um, but I just took and removed the stitches off of them. I like it better. Okay, so we're going to swap out. Ooh, we're going to keep our socks on because she just has tall socks with different ideas. And we're going to swap um, these shorts for the red gingham and we're going to put on a little light blue button up. It's giving yeehaw America. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I listen to country radio and they always, well, back in Illinois, they would have the 58835. No, no, it was not the 58835. It was something else where you would guess the lyrics. Maybe it was the 58835, but I don't think so. Um, it was like, you fill in the blanks of the words. They'll like play a clip or whatever. And when a girl would pick Shania Twain or anyone would pick Shania Twain, they would never get the words right because Shania Twain's lyrics are so unbelievably hard. And I just thought of that because of this Let's Go Girl shirt. Um, so unbelievably hard. But anyway, if you think you know them, you probably don't know them. Or maybe you do, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't seen a picture of in a long time Shania Twain. I wonder what she looks like. I bet she's gorgeous. I don't know why I like relate her in the same category, even though she's a singer. I relate her to, um, what do I want to say? This is giving, um, boyfriend's shirt, uh, boyfriend's outfit, <laughs> boxers and a shirt. Um, I relate her to Cindy Crawford. She's like the singer version of Cindy Crawford. This is giving boyfriend's closet, but you know what? I'm not mad at it. She's asleep down. Let's put on shoes. She has a red stripe to her shoes, which I don't. I have red shoes, but I feel like it would be too much. So I'm just going to go with the classics. Wait and see how that looks. This is giving like, yeah, like boxer shorts and button up. Um, very masculine, but I kind of think it's cute. Model off duty, if you will. Talking about Cindy Crawford. Doesn't she have that meaningful beauty line that's like on every infomercial? No to mankind. I feel like it was always on at the gym in <laughs> Illinois. I was like, people so buy that stuff. I don't know. I used to be an infomercial sucker. Sucker. I'm trying to think of what I convinced my mom to buy off of infomercial. A ninja bullet back before ninja bullets were not sold in store. They were only sold online. Um, yes, I got one of those. And then my mom also got me for Christmas one year this like nail painting kit that was like these metal plates that you like painted scraped off and then pushed like a rubber stamper onto it picked it up and then put it on your nail and it's barely worked <laughs> but she bought that for me but infomercials were just like i feel like such a 90s thing okay so to get your shirt to stay like that just tuck it in like to the side like that these are just easy outfits i feel like they're cute but i don't know i feel like i do need to tuck a little bit of the sleeve up since these sleeves are so big. I just wish I had pockets. She got a cute little red bag. I don't have a little red bag. How would this look with my little yellow bag though? Oh my gosh. So I forgot to set up our gas bill. Well, not in reality. I thought they would just send the bill in the mail and I would pay for it. That wasn't the case. So they turned off our gas on, they turned off our gas on Tuesday and then they were supposed to come to fill it, to turn it back on today. Well, on, um, they most definitely did not turn our gas off because our gas has been working this entire time. And so I called this morning to just be like, hey, like, I know you're supposed to come out today, but like, I just want to let you know, like, our gas is still on. And they're like, well, it's showing on our end that it's not. And I'm like, well, uh, I've used the stove every day since you turned it off. And so they were like, okay, well, we still need to come out because we need to figure it out. And Scott, like, saw the guy at the gas meter. He's like, so we still have gas. He's like, yeah. Now I gotta figure out whose gas I turned off. And I'm like, oh, I would be so mad. Anyway, I guess they could be mad at me for not setting up an account. In fairness, I tried to set up an account multiple times online. It kept kicking me back. And it was always times when I couldn't call customer service. But their customer service at Atmos is amazing. All right, guys, that's it. That wraps up my four Pinterest outfits that I've either been wearing that I was inspired from my Pinterest board or want to recreate because I loved them. Uh, I think they turned out really cute. Let me know what your favorite outfit was down below as always. And are we ready to start fall content? I feel like August, you can start fall content, like towards the end of August though, honestly. But is, is fall technically like the end of um, September? I don't know. 
nonetheless, I'm ready for fall content, but it's like peak heat right now. So I don't think honestly it makes sense, but maybe a fall wish list soon. Let me know. Let me know what you guys are thinking. But as always, thank y'all for watching. I'll see you in my next video very, very soon.